Okay, so parts laid out here for stage 129 of issue 34 of the Ecto. Uh, and it's completing, uh, parts for completing the front light bar. Obviously got the lens and everything like that. Um, all checked off, all there on the inventory. Um, so hopefully once we've got this on, we'll be able to test it out and see it in action, see it moving. Uh, see what the lights look like, the light bar lights. Um, but yeah, all there, all checked off, so just going to get this built up. This will be uh, stage 129. <sighs> okay, so bring over the part from the last stage, stage 128. It's just this um, light bar. Make sure they're all in line. And now I need the four XL LEDs from the top of the car. So I've taken this off, I'm assuming it's kind of the ones, the four LEDs, the one with the longer, it's the one marked N, I think. Yeah, it's going to be the one marked N, isn't it? Oh no, 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 I'll be the rear one. One mark, yeah, it's still one marked N. Yeah. Okay, so I've taken that off. Because it's going to be the longest one, isn't it? Okay. So I've got this from, yeah, the car. And just having a look what it says. What does it say to put first? Right. It's not the switch. So here's the switch, obviously. And let's swap that through. Swap the switch to the gap in the light bar base. So we've got a gap there in the light bar base. Okay. Which way round? Really, I guess, because it didn't. Okay. Okay, that's it. But then we've got the motor retainer, which is this part here. And it says thread the wire through. Thread the wire through the motor retainer. Okay, so. This looks like it's going to be quite tricky, I think, because we've got a lot going on here. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. I'm going to have to kind of thread and sort out. It gets fitted on with three EP screws, I think it says, so I'll get a screw ready. Hopefully that makes sense so that I get the wire kind of gets threaded through that gap there. That's what it's talking about there. And then these just to hold these motors in and then there's three screws, one, two, three, three screws. Three, but yeah, hopefully that's what that kind of looks like. And that's all in place. Wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. And then you attach these motor, you connect the motor cables to the circuit board. Those cables, motor cables connected. Okay. 
slots the plug with the black and white right. okay so that's that one and that goes through the hole so there's a hole just there so the black and white wire goes through the hole followed by the four leds Four LEDs and the plug are through. Then insert the four LEDs into the hole in the bottom. Okay, so now hmm, these four LEDs have got to go into. So there's obviously, you know, the shorter ones and longer ones. It's a bit of a mess though. This cable. Uh, long ones. I'm going to put this long one through. Right, so now we've got these things to keep the LEDs in place. So once you push them through, you want these to kind of keep them in place, I guess. And then they get fitted on with EP screws again. Get fitted down, screwed down with EP screws. Okay, then it's you basically pull everything through and tuck any loose wires into this box. I'm too sure if that includes the circuit board. I think it maybe does. Does it include the circuit board? Mm. A lot of. Can I kind of bring all bring as much of the wire through, I guess, as you can. So it looks kind of neat because this is going to be underneath, isn't it? So you can see this. Bring as much of that through as you can. And I think all it says is you then tuck all the wires into this box here. Not the best. But can I see what it looks like?
Okay, now we've got these edge parts like this and like this and they're kind of fitting on to the light bar. Bring over the light bar. Fitting these. these a bit on that way around. So we'll just kind of slot in like that. And then I guess this just goes on now because we've got the correct way. held on with XP screws. switch the cables coming through here and I'll take this end off it because it will look a bit silly. And put a cable guide. Put that in with an MP screw. what that looks like. Then next take the separator panel which is this I guess and bend it so that the shape matches that of the front light bar lens. The end of the grill should on the side of the light bar that houses the switch. So this end, this part here, which is called the grill, needs to be on the switch side. And it's just a bend is it? There you go. There is some kind of uh, pre -bend for bends. That's what it kind of looks like, and it's not brilliant, I'm honest. But. but I guess it will look okay when it's on. Uh, then we've got these parts here, just got some 3M backing. that light bar completed. What I might do is use a piece, a little bit of that tape, because I've got a little piece of this tape left. Cut this in half and then just go, yeah. So 
should say. It's still light, but I don't. Now it's fitting it onto the car. Using, just check in, AP screws. Get the AP screws I need ready. Because I'm going to have to bring over the car, obviously. And do the bit that I didn't do on the last issue. Just fit those brackets that are going to hold this in. The mounting brackets. Okay, so as I say, from the last issue, because I didn't do this. From the last issue, I've just got to fit these on. And it was using some VM screws. So now it's the light bar. White AP screws, so these screws are coloured white. Okay, that's on, that's on. And then, this. It's going to be connecting up wires and connecting this up. So that's on. Now I guess it's just a case of testing it. So I'm going to put some batteries in it and test it. Okay, a bit of an issue with the uh, with them. To be honest with you, I had to take them apart and regrease them and everything because those ones weren't working at all. So we're completely taking it apart, regreased it. Put it back together, wired it up correctly because originally I had it wired up incorrectly as well, so it wasn't working correctly. But now, yeah, they work and they are incredibly noisy. Very, very noisy at all. The, um, I mean, they look good. They look okay. Let's turn the lights off. It's full effect, I guess, but. Um, So they are very, very noisy. Um, my indoor, my interior lights are working as well, which is good because a few people say that theirs weren't. Um, just checking everything else works. I think they work. Yeah, so my front and rear lights are working. Just about hear it over when the buttons are going as well, I don't hear it. They're, going on. They're, uh, they're working. Check everything, I guess, every single time. Although, I don't think I'd be taking these apart anyway, even if they weren't working. Uh, but yes, everything seems to be working. Okay. Okay, so that was stage one, two, nine done there. Yep, fitting that front light bar. Uh, stage one, 30. Looks like we're starting work on the rear light bar. Yep, we're just gonna start work on it. Uh, exactly what we did, obviously, for, I guess for the front one, just gonna be uh, doing it for the rear. So that will be stage one, 30, and that'll be coming up soon. 
So hey, thank you very much for watching this build video of this stage of the Ecto-1 by Hero Collector and Eagle Moss. And as always, if you'd like to see the progression of this build, then don't forget to subscribe. And if you click the bell, you get notified any time that a video goes live. Also, if you've liked the video, then give us a thumbs up, pop any comments in the comments box, and I'll get back to them. But hey, take care. Hope to catch you again on the channel soon. And ta-da for now.